What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Robert from RobGeo0407L and welcome to episode 201 of Logo History. Today we're going to have a look at Keynote. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the short bio if those of you don't know what Keynote is. It is a presentation software developed by Apple Inc. It was released on macOS on January 7th, 2003. It was released on iOS devices in 2010. The iOS version can be available in English, Arabic, Catalan, Croatian, Czech, Danish, Dutch, Finnish, French, German, Greek, Hebrew, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Norwegian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Simplified Chinese, Slovak, Spanish, Swedish, Sai, traditional Chinese, Turkish, Ukrainian, and Vietnamese, which totals it all up to 33 languages. Its, it, it's website for the Mac OS is www.apple.com slash Mac slash Keynote. So let's go to that first. All right. All right. Keynote, beautiful presentations for everyone, by everyone. With its, with its powerful tools and dazzling effects, Kino makes it easy to create stunning and memorable, memorable presentations. You can even use Apple Pencil on your iPad to create diagrams or illustrations that bring your slides to life. And with real-time collaboration, your team can work together whether they're on Mac, iPad, or iPhone, or using the PC! Download Kino for Mac! Yeah, I use Keynote. And this is uh, other information. All right. Now let's go now let's go to their iOS website. It, their iOS website is apple.com/ios/keynote. So let's take a look. Okay, okay. This is basically just the same thing. All right. <clears throat> now without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first, let's start with macOS. 2009 to 2013, we have, uh, I don't know, some kind of podium thing with some paper on it with a microphone. Um, and we have the words Keynote 09. I'm very sorry if it didn't start at 2003, but you get the idea. 2013 to 2014, the podium is now changed to, uh, change, changed to blue. And we have kind of like diagrams on it. And we have a microphone. 2014 to the present, um, the thing has been modified a bit. The microphone is now has now been dropped from the logo, and we only have one paper. Also, before I move on to the iOS section, don't you think that it's weird that I'm doing a, a, a logo history episode on Keynote? On the Keynote app? Like, wow, it's, isn't that amazing? What you think about that? All right, now we, now moving on from all the Mac OS shit, we'll, we'll move on to iOS. 2009 to 2013, we have uh, the wooden podium again, and we have uh, the uh, words. Well, actually, we have some paper, and it says 04 2012. We have a microphone. 2013 to 2014, we just have a silhouette of a podium with a microphone, that's it. Inside a blue square. 2014 to the present, same thing, but the gradient is uh, is slightly different. Alright, that's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Logo History. And since I have spooktacular tomorrow and Saturday, I mean tomorrow and Sunday, I will see you later on today for a brand new episode. Stay tuned for episode 202, which is later on today iTunes, and the iTunes Store. Bye, boy